Hey guys, what's up? Gladly here. So the first DLC for Breath of the Wild just dropped, and brought with it a bunch of new items, including a couple of iconic armor sets and helmets, as well as a travel medallion. So in this video, I wanted to give you a quick overview of, most importantly, where you can find these items, and talk a little bit about what each of them do. So let's just get right into it with the travel medallion. For this one, you want to head to the top right corner of the map at the Lome Labyrinth Island. You need to have completed the shrine here before you can uh, get the amulet. Once you do, there will be this air shaft here going down into the basement level. This is also the place where you can find the diamond circlet if you haven't already, just in the middle here. But to get what we came here for, you want to head to the far side of the room. Right up against the wall will be a chest with your travel medallion. Now let's get out of here before we get blown to bits by these guardians. So the way the medallion works is that you can place it at any one location on the map and from that point on you can use that location as a fast travel point, similar to a shrine or a tower. Just go to your key items, uh, find the medallion and place the marker. Right here I'm placing it in the middle of uh, Terry Town. I thought that might be useful if I wanted to restock on arrows and uh, other stuff. I have a couple of ideas that might be good fast travel spots, but let me know in the comments below where you guys will place your uh, uh, travel marker. Okay, moving on to Majora's Mask, one of my favorite items in this update, just because I'm a huge Majora's Mask fan. For this one, you want to head to these ruins, just uh, south of Lake Colomo, northeast of the Great Plateau. Once you're there, find a pile of rubble uh, by the south end of the ruins, and pull the chest up out of the ground. Wearing it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. What that means is, when you have this on, normal enemies such as Bokoblins, Moblins, Lizophos, and Stalnos will not attack you. A very similar effect to the monster masks that you can already find in the game. It should be really useful, especially for a new Master Mode playthrough. Next up, it's Midna's Helmet. For this, you want to head to the Sage Temple Ruins on the western end of the Hyrule Fields. Once you're at the ruins, head to the northwest corner and look for another pile of rubble and pull the chest out from under it. Midna's Helmet offers 7 armor and a Guardian Resist Up effect. This is the same effect you can find on the Ancient Armor and the Diamond Circlet. It looks pretty awesome, but unfortunately it cannot be upgraded at a Great Fairy, so the defensive power it offers is pretty limited. Next up is the Korok Mask, a very useful item. This one you'll find in the southeastern area of the Lost Woods. From the main forest area with the Master Sword, you want to head south and out into the Lost Woods themselves. Once you see the fog, head in a generally southeastern direction. You'll eventually see a gaping tree with a chest in its mouth, and there's your prize. The Korok Mask will begin to shake and light up if you're near a Korok that you haven't already found. So for example in this clip, in the stony structure you can see out in the water, there's a Korok that I haven't found. And once I move into range, this is about the range that you can expect from this mask, you can hear a sound and the mask will begin rattling. Very useful for those of us who are not insane enough to already have found all the Koroks in the game. Yeah. Moving on to Tingle's armor set, we're gonna start by finding his tights. For this one, you wanna head to the Mabe village ruins, Mabe village ruins, in the middle of Hyrule Field. Once you're there, you'll find this uh, deactivated guardian, and underneath it will be the chest with his tights. For his shirt, we're gonna head to the Castle Town Prison in the northwestern part of Hyrule Fields, just west of the castle. By this burned down house, you're gonna find a chest bird in the ground. Finally, his hood is located in the Exchange Ruins, just south of the central tower. 
Again, it's hidden among a pile of rubble, so just pull it out and get the last piece. With all the parts assembled, it's now time to take the form of the true hero of Hyrule, Tingle. <clears throat> well, this set has a night speed up bonus, identical to the one that you get from wearing the Sheikah set. So if you prefer running around as a little green elf man, as opposed to an awesome sneaky speedy ninja, then this set should be pretty good for you. If you try to approach other characters wearing this set, you'll also get some hilarious reactions. Finally, let's get the phantom armor, starting with the greaves. Head here to the Hyrule Garrison Ruins, just south of the central tower. By this deactivated guardian is going to be a chest with the greaves. For the breastplate part of the armor, head to the sacred ground ruins, just south of the Hyrule Castle. It's going to be waiting underneath this broken pillar in the water. Lastly, for the Phantom Helmet, head inside the Colosseum Ruins, that you should be familiar with. The chest is located on the ground floor, the base floor of the ruins, and is lodged up against the wall in the northwestern area. So just grab it. Each armor piece in the Phantom set provides 8 armor as well as an attack up bonus that is identical to the one you can get with the Barbarian set or by eating Mighty Food, so up to a 50% damage bonus by wearing all 3 items. It looks pretty awesome, especially if you're familiar with the games that it's taken from, and it should be a pretty good armor in the early game, but as with the other items that we got uh, from the DLC, it cannot be upgraded at a great fairy. So even though it has a high base armor value and a really good effect, it will quickly fall off once you start upgrading the other armors that you can get in the game. Which is a shame because I'd like to see them at least on par with the other armors so you can use them in combat without sacrificing effectiveness. My personal favorite items of these are probably the Korak mask, Majora's Mask and the Travel Medallion. I feel like each has a very specific and useful purpose that I think will be especially useful in a new Master Mode file because you can get them all pretty early and they'll probably allow you to get through the game a little bit easier and a little bit safer. And you can also mix and match the different pieces to create a really weird look for Link, if that's your thing. Anyway. Those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of these additions to the game. And until next time, have fun finding and experimenting with these new items. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.